Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Well, this is not an episode, this is a tutorial. So today I'm going to showcase you how I download the snapshots. And don't quote me on this, but I think that the developers are actually upholding the snapshots themselves. Or somebody close to the development team, I'm not entirely sure. You just type in Google Kabelman Discord. And then it should be the first link. Then it opens on Discord. And there you go, you're now in. Now, there's a lot of channels and this might be changed later on because they've uh, changed it recently. So you go to questions. You go over here, you see this little pinned message uh, together with the red dot. Yeah, there you, go. you you can go over here. And it said over it says over here how to get the newest dev build. So you click this link. Don't worry, it's not bait. And now you're in the Nexus repository. So make sure you either click on Forge or Fabric depending on what game you're playing in. So if you're playing on Fabric, don't download the Forge one because that won't work. Now in my case, I play on Fabric a lot. So you see a whole lot of documents over here. What we are going to do is we, we are going to open this one. So the second one with the Java logo. And then you get a whole lot of shit. And I have no idea what any of this means. So I'm not going to even tell you. You see it right here. It says path. You click on this one. It downloads it automatically. Now we're just going to have to wait like 10 seconds. Okay, it's downloaded. So now we have this thing standing on our desktop. What do we do with it? Well, it's a mod, silly. So you just go to the mods folder. If you don't know how to get to the mods folder, you type this in. Percent, app data, percent. Now once here, you go to dot Minecraft, you go to mods, and you just shove it in there, and there you go. Now you have the new snapshots in it. Keep in mind that with Fabric, you do actually need the Fabric API to make Cobblemon work. Also make sure that every mod file is on 1.20.1. And also make sure that it is, of course, a fabric installation for that as well. So then you open Minecraft and then you get the Poisonous Potato update because for some reason the F April Fool's joke updates are better than the regular ones nowadays. Make sure you have this one set up, the Fabric Loader 1.20.1. So we are in the game now. We can click this, then we go to, well, in this case, one of my worlds. If you really want to know if you're in the 1.5 snapshots and you still don't see anything, you should have the restoration tank, the fossil analyzer, and the data monitor as the first three over here. Could be subjects to change later on, of course, but that's uh, the first three right now. And if you're still not convinced, then you can type in slash spawn Pokemon and then take one from the 1.5 change log, which I'll also link in the description. In this case, I'm going to do Hydreigon, and there you go. There you have it. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? You want in my Master Ball? There you go. So there you have it. That's all you need to know. Every link will be in the description, which means that I'll link the Maven repository, the Cobblemon Discord and other useful links down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was very informative uh, for most of you. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, leave them in the comments. Well, yeah, of course, leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you all upcoming Sunday with the next episode of 1.5 Cobblemon.